And here we are again at the original Cornwall Farm Market, and we are going to be making mallets. Wow. Again. Cool. The second part. Go for so it. So we could make a mallet like this. Wow. Want to make one of those, Joe? Or like this. Whoa. Remember I was showing you croquet? But, for carpenters your size, I think we might make one a little smaller. Yep. Careful with that. Yep. Okay, take a look over here. And I didn't get to the safety part yet. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that you have to do that there part really quick. Two shiny silver parts that are dangerous. <laughs> and that one yeah. that you just discovered. And over here. So, uh, let me just put this over here for now. We use that at the end. Yeah. Nice pieces. All right. Wow. Yeah, just that's going to turn into this. All right, think of all the fun banging you're going to do. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll wait till the end of the, the house. Uh, setup. You okay. have to promise. Oh. So, all right. <laughs> so you can pick out uh, a head and a handle that seem to go together. That we have. All of these round ones from branches, and then we also have these square ones. Okay. If you like that shape better. Oh, this is for, this is for the head of the mallet? Yep. Oh. Yeah, there might be one with a hole in it. Yeah, so part of what we do is to shave that down round so it'll fit in there. Okay. So we drill a hole in. So whatever they uh, think All right. uh, is best do for you them. Want, do you want a round one like this, or do you want a square one like this? You like this one? Okay. You should take a stick. This is the kind of stuff you like to um, pick up on the street. Right? What do you want to do? You want to, you want this to be like that, or do you want a stick like that in it? You want the square in the square? All right. Here, let me hold your trains for you. Sounds good. So, which one are you gonna get, a red? Here. Yeah. No, I think we're gonna head over there next. So, let's see. You want to get. This, this looks like it's pretty uh, substantial. Which one do you like, this one or this one? This is what you're going to end up doing. You like this one? Oh, wait, this one doesn't have a hole in it. Can you you can have a hybrid, I bet. You can do a hybrid, a, a square block with a go. wooden stick. I mean, with a I branch. Think that would be a wonderful combination. Yeah, well. Right. To okay, well, let's go over there. All right. Do you want so this one? The, you the want drilling there. station. Okay. Follow these guys. All right. Yeah, all right. So let's do that part first. Boom. Yeah, let's. Can we, oh, oh that one already had. Do you, oh, okay. you want to get one without yeah. a hole and we'll make the hole for you? Yeah. You're, you can make the hole yourself. I, I switched it out because I thought it needed a hole. And I needed oh, no, that's part of the that's just uh, you know the samples. Can you hold that for me? All right. Okay. So watch this, Jim. So this is a special kind of. Clamp that holds our workpiece so it doesn't wiggle around when we're working. Make sure everything's tight. And this is the part where I need some help. Can you help me? I'm gonna swing that around like that. Yeah. Now be careful of your elbow there. It's kind of elevate you a little bit. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Joseph. Drill that thing. See what she's doing? Look at it, Ryan. It's going into the wood. Joseph is turning that crank right into the wood. You know what this is doing, Joseph? You're putting, you're putting the hole in the top of your mallet. You hear it? Can you see it? Drawing a little circle in there. It's digging in now. You're strong. They had a fight over who's stronger this morning. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> who won? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Right now. We'll find out. <laughs> Few more. We're almost done. All right. How do you know when you've reached the bottom? I'm watching the this distance here. Oh, okay. Oh, 
go. That's good. So let's go the other way and we'll see how deep it is. And just sometimes there's an impulse to uh, grab the sharp end of this as soon as it's visible. Try to... Oh, yeah. Are you getting dizzy? Oh, there we go. So. <gasps> so yeah. <gasps> you did it! Neat. What do you think? You made a mallet hole. Amazing. Yeah, but yeah. How, how is that going to fit in there, Joe? That will happen. S step two. <laughs> well, let's work your brother's. All right. Mallet first. All right, Ryan. Yeah. You, is yours going to be able to have the same kind of hole? All right, it's going to be a little bit different. Here. Yeah. Let me just get it set up, and then you can help. Cause. Let him get it lined up, Ryan. I think we're good there. All right. Um, yeah, can, can you stand on there? Yeah, I, let's see if that's going to clear for him. Can you help me? Can you hold on that the wooden part here? Right there. There you go. There you go. Good. But don't worry, just you're going to whittle this down so it fits in there, okay? Good job, Ryan. What do you think? You're gonna make something to this You're gonna whittle this down so that it fits in there. As much as elbow right there. Yeah. Well, hey Corey, can you take a picture? Oh yeah. Right. Good, Good job, Ryan. You're hard wood. You're pretty strong. Yeah, you're a woodworker. <laughs> Actually, what if he stands back there? Oh, all right. That might be better. Okay. Uh, just like that. There you go. Nice. Is that? Maybe, maybe stand up. Yeah, don't drill your toe. Can you spin it? Good job. That's easier. There you go. Yeah. Look at him go. Oh, Just a thousand more times. Mechanical advantage. You want one bite? I think I might get a little pizza. I'm going to back up a little bit. See, your brother's in there too, Joseph. Gently go in the other direction and it'll I'll pull up. There we go. Right. And we'll just. Alright. Look what you made. Alright. It's not finished yet. Now on the stage two. Now if we go on the other side and pick. Yeah, be careful walking over there, a lot of corners you can bump your head on. And... Yeah. Do you have his handle? Uh, Corey has Oh, you have yeah. handle? Oh, good. Okay. And Joseph, where's your handle? Corey, where's... Uh, where's Joseph's handle? Joseph, you want this yeah, kind or here. this kind? Let's bring it over. Okay, let's go over here. Has anybody ever used a pencil sharpener? <laughs> no. I know, it's kind of an old-fashioned tool. <laughs> it's sad. But, uh, let, just, please let go of that for now. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can help me in just a second, but I want to get it all set up. Okay. I'll see. Back up. Back up. Right. Back so, up. Good. 
Who wants to go first? Here, give your stick. Okay, please don't touch that. Just yet. Give your stick to him. I'll, I'll show you how to help out in just a second. This works like a giant pencil sharpener. We have another holder here. Okay. Get it lined up. Now I'm going to do the hard part and sit down. That's okay, maybe turn. you can it's both help. If, um, sometimes there's enough room for two sets of hands, but we want to be careful that we don't bang our elbows here and here. Can you hold on to this part right we'll here? Watch our Kelsey. It's Let's her see turn. And we're going to go this way. So watch your elbow. There you go. We're going to make a little clicky noise at first, but then we get to hear the good squeak. Do you mind if Tulsi helps, or yeah. do you want to do it yourself? Oh, okay. Joe, what, let her help you. It's easier if two people do it. It's my, project. my arm's really tired. <laughs> it's okay. Tulsi, okay. Can help. Tulsi, you want to help? There. Okay. There you go. There oh, you're go. doing it together. There, there we go. There nice. Go. Good job, All right. guys. Good. It's so much better. Good too. teamwork. <laughs> Oh, it's squeaking. I like that noise. They're aerobic exercise, or upper body exercise. Yeah. Now you guys can row a boat together, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. That requires that kind of unison. <laughs> the next lesson will be chopping firewood. <laughs> Cleaning the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> and carrying the fire Do you want to see what we did? See if it's far enough? All right, so wait, wait, don't, wait, don't, don't touch, touch this like part. Touch oh, it got smaller. Yeah, looks pretty good. I think we should go a little farther. Okay. Are, little are, are you tired? Can, Can you do you it a little bit more? Don't step on anything. Uh, 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 uh. Don't grab either. Go this way. <laughs> All right. Now you can do it. All right, girls. Keep. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trust me, is this Good like Bob Odo? Yeah, this piece is going to go right in there. Usually it's going to be a little bit easier, Ryan. Yeah. There's not as much to do. A couple more. Can you count to five? Time to practice. Okay, okay. Yeah. One, one. Let's all start with one, one two, two, three, four. I made five. Yeah, you made this five. Good. Now, we're gonna put it now let's one. see. Oh. That's yeah. good. That looks pretty That's good. What do you think? Yay! Yay. Man, well, we're doing the next right. one. <clears throat> if you want to work with her to sand the edges a little bit, uh, we can do a few different things. Sometimes it's easier for them. Right. If we clamp in the center of the vise. Oh, that's a good. Idea. Did I leave that? Yeah, yeah, the mallet head's oh, over here. And if we clamp this in the center of the vise, if, if you have to move it, you can. And then. <laughs> They can just do that and get the show ready. Oh, okay, great. So, I'll say oh, so Tulsi, let, let her. And then we'll work with All right. All right. <laughs> this young man. Let's see. And after we get it together, we can adjust the length sure. of it if you want. It's <laughs> usually for the smaller carpenters. Uh, <laughs> the smaller the mallet, the better. Yeah. Did it? Okay, ready to put your hand there? Move over this way a little bit. 
And just watch, watch your elbows there. Yeah, watch your head. And... Oops. Yeah. That's a little bit of a reach. Yeah. Um, That's right. Maybe, it'll, maybe he'll just work it when it comes to okay. side. Yeah. All right. There you go. Nice. It looks like a kid's just toy. Head there, yeah. Yeah. They're just, they're little corners here and there. Yeah. That's your head. This one will be easier, right? There's not as much to take off. So what do you call this tool? This is called a tenon cutter. Uh huh. Uh, a dowel going into a hole. The, the dowel part is the tenon, and the hole is called a mortise. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, let's take. So this is a, a tenon cutter. We'll go a little bit more. Can you do a few more? A couple more, all right, Ryan? Okay. Good job. And these are pretty old. There are a lot of a lot of handmade wooden ones, and then <laughs> they really flourished in the Industrial Revolution and late 19th century. There are dozens of designs. I think that's good. All right. Let's take a look. And this is this is kind of a modern version. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see this fits. And we're going to put a little glue in there, and then the surprising thing is we're going to use a mallet to make them more. That makes sense. Let's drive that together. Yeah. Well, we're going to put a little glue in there first, Ryan, so it so it sticks. But that's the idea. And we can do a little sanding of the edges before or after. Uh-huh. Yeah, but well, we're going to put a little glue there. It's it's supposed to be tight, so when we take a mallet, we're gonna knock it together. Okay, okay. Let's not look right onto the glue. It's not gonna fall off. <laughs> yeah. All right. They're getting anxious. Let's give a right. a chance. Yeah, grab your. Uh, That's uh, here. Back up. We're gonna be doing something else This is called a throw. It's used for splitting firewood right. into here, Corey, smaller can I do it? pieces. Oh, can do it. Oh, it. Oh, it. It's, it's not very tight. A lot of them are right, much gonna, bigger, gonna do so it. this would be for a larger it's gonna get serious. <laughs> if you have a log like this, you can hit on it like oh, that. Oh, that's that's okay. Okay. Like a throw, oh. and that's oh. a cudgel or a throw club. It's just a different, trying to show different kinds of mallets in their uses, and we're making a little Does your mom have where does she grow flowers in her house? Yeah, in her house. She actually has to Okay. Alright. It's an evolution. Yeah, so one of them has this great up here on the river. Alright. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. Collapsing over here. Those edges real quick, Ryan. Step back. Yeah, we're gonna make Okay, the final step now. All right, huh? the final step. Ready, Ryan? We put a little glue in there. All right. This will set up in just a few minutes. It, uh -huh. It's tight enough, it probably won't come apart anymore. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of precaution. Hey, Josephine, where's the top of your mallet? Watch, Ryan's mallet's going to come together. Ooh, nice peaches. That's my mallet. They look good.
You grab the large mallet up there for me. Now the scary part. Oh, step back everybody. We're making a mallet, but we're going to use a mallet to make this mallet. Because we have to push it together because my hands, I can't. So if I use this. Wow. Can I hit it? Ready? Good. Oh, oh right. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so you, you can sand those edges. You can do that later. It's it'll work fine the way it is. Just yep. uh, and then what about the length? Do we want to shorten that or is that okay? For I think it's pretty can grow into it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, if it becomes um, too dangerous that way, you. Oh, what is the promise? Mechanical advantage. All right. All right. What is the Say promise, though, Joe? All right. You have to promise me one thing. Ready? No, you have to promise not to hit your sister or anybody else with your new mallet. Can you say that? Say, I promise not to hit anyone with the mallet. Good job. All right. Thank you. A humble promise is still a promise. Yeah. Say thank you, Mr. Joe. Do you want to learn the secret handshake of woodworkers? <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah. Hi. I work with hammers, screwdrivers, <laughs> and saws. <laughs> okay, so next time I see you, you can use the secret handshake for me. Cool. I, I can show you after we put your mouth in there. We do the handshake sure. after yeah, you're yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. All right, you gotta wait first till we you're have done. To, first, we have to make the mouth. Peach for a second so you can finish your mouth. All right, All right so yeah. what happens with the head, Corey? <gasps> oh. Here, just this is right here. Here's your handle. That's happened to me before. I've lost my head. <laughs> yeah. Joseph, he's got it now. <laughs> Whoa, I can see it now. Mm. <laughs> uh, the, the power of mechanical advantage. Hi, Phyllis. I already learned stuff. About what? About not heading. Okay. 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 You help? So far. <laughs> so Erica last night. Oh yeah. Oh at the, at the yard opening, yeah. I was on my way. And I got delayed doing all this. Mm. Excellent. Let me go right. give it a couple of wax. Whoa. Oh, I'm tired. Can you give it a couple more? <laughs> Ooh, oh. That's okay. Sorry. That's good. good to see you. All right. Nice to see you. See, and that was before we made the promise, so it was okay for you to hit me. No, that was an accident. That's fine. And look at that. All right. What do you think? Wow. Do you like it, Josephine? Go paint it. Pink. Did she make the promise? Yeah. All right, Joe, so to make a promise to now, Mr. Joe. tell Mr. Joe what. Nice say, I promise not to hit my brother with this mallet. I promise not to hit my brother with my, with my mallet. There you go. Thank you. Or anybody, now, right, you, Or any. Yeah. It's for rocks and nails. It's a, this is nuts. You hit nuts with it. So, do you want to do the handshake? All right. I work with hammers, screwdrivers, and saws. <laughs> so when you come back, we can learn how to use the other tools. All right. Okay. Like the crank? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of. And next weekend at the 
picnic at Trinity Conference Center. We're going to make some little wooden toys. Oh, yes. back. Same time. Uh, I, there's a poster right there under that other mallet. Oh, I detect the theme. Justin, do you say thank you? I'll say, do you want to make toys next week? Yes, the Trinity picnic is next week. All right, we'll get there. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. And that's it for the latest in mallet making at the original Cornwall Farm Market. Hooray!